Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we will be making a compound known as manganese 2 chloride. This can be synthesized from two household materials. Manganese dioxide, which can be bought at any pottery supply store um, as a pottery pigment, and um, hydrochloric acid. Now, uh, manganese dioxide is also known as manganese 4 oxide, so uh, look for that also. Anyhow, the reaction will produce manganese 2 chloride, which is a lovely light pink color and is perfect for reactions such as the chemical garden, which is what I will be using this for. The chemical garden is essentially where you take transition metal salts, um, which are typically colored, and put them into an aqueous solution of sodium silicate. The insoluble metal silicates then precipitate out, and from these very beautiful plant-like structures. And um, it's very cool, so we'll be making some manganese uh, 2 chloride for this application. So, all we will need to do is take a quantity of manganese dioxide, does not really matter how much, and put it into a jar. So we'll put a fair amount into this jar here. And um, then upon the addition of hydrochloric acid, we will generate our manganese to chloride. However, this is dangerous because it also produces chlorine gas, which is highly toxic. So this must be done outside or at a fume hood. Now, the chlorine gas produced, interestingly enough, was the way that they used to make chlorine gas uh, before the current method, which is electrolysis. But um, a long time ago, they used to just add hydrochloric acid to manganese dioxide, and chlorine gas would come off. That's how they made it. Anyhow, pottery grade... Okay, sorry, my memory card filled up. I've uh, emptied it now, and we're back. So as I was saying, we've just uh, put out some manganese dioxide here, and uh, we can now react with the hydrochloric acid to produce the manganese 2 chloride and chlorine gas. So I'll bring this outside and uh, write up the reaction, and then we can do the reaction, and I'll show you what it looks like. It is important to do this outside, not inside, wear a gas mask. Chlorine gas is extremely toxic. That's just a heads up. So I'll meet you outside. Okay, so pottery grade uh, manganese dioxide does contain impurities such as carbon and probably some other impurities. So this is not going to look very nice after doing this. <coughs> We will most likely have to end up filtering our solution uh, to get rid of any horrible impurities such as carbon. So we'll just simply take our hydrochloric acid, and this is just um, muriatic acid which we bought at Canadian Tire, and uh, we'll add some to this. Remember this produces toxic chlorine gas. Okay, so now I will leave this pee and not inhale any of the fumes, and we'll mix around and make sure that everything reacts. And I will meet you back as soon as it seems like everything is reacted. Okay, so as you can see, upon heating up that um, manganese chloride, um, it has fully reacted. All the manganese dioxide has reacted with the hydrochloric acid. And it's formed this sort of orangish mixture. Now, I have tried this in the past with pure manganese dioxide, which I do not currently have. Um, and the same result happened. I'm not totally sure why, but um, it's fairly easy to get around this. Now, there is some insoluble impurities at the bottom. So uh, we will need to first take this and filter it off. So I'll meet you inside after it's been filtered off. Okay, so now that we've heated up our manganese chloride, um, you can see that it's much, much nicer, and now that it's been filtered off, it's quite clear. Um, but it is very orange, and I always find that there's always contamination in this, uh, even when you use uh, pure manganese dioxide, which is lab grade. So, what I did last time to obtain manganese chloride from this is first boil it all the way down. Um, so I'll boil it all the way down and then show you what to do next. Okay, so we've now boiled down our solution of manganese chloride, and you can see that it does not look pink as it should. And this is expected because I've done this in the past. So you can see, that's what it looks like in there. It's kind of like a yellowy, orange, solid mixture type thing. And um, it does look slightly gray on camera, but that's not actually part of it. It's on the sides of the beakers, so uh, just ignore that. Anyhow, so now what we must do is add some water to this. I believe whatever is the impurity in the manganese dioxide becomes a chloride, and that chloride is soluble in acidic conditions, but not in uh, normal uh, zero pH or uh, neutral pH conditions. Because when I've done this in the past, the chloride dissolves. However, whatever is insoluble is left and settles out to the bottom. I'll show you exactly what this looks like, but for starters, we're going to add... Um, probably 50 to 100 milliliters of water to this to dissolve all the manganese chloride. Okay, so I swirled it around with about 50-60 milliliters of water and um, 
it really does look like everything dissolved. But upon closer examination, you, you can actually see through the solution. It's uh, opaque. This is because it's actually a suspension um, of some sort of chloride, I'm assuming. And um, our manganese chloride is now in solution. So, the easiest way that I find to do this is to um, then take this solution. And um, I'm going to actually add a bit more water to it to dilute it a bit more. And um, what we will then do is take this and... Um, I'll actually add all the water from my graduated cylinder here. And if we put it in a tall thing such as this graduated cylinder, uh, we'll transfer it to this. This is going to give it time to properly settle out. So, if we wait for two days or so, you should start to notice that it's actually going to be clear on the top and start to become orange and orange on the bottom. Um, this is what I found last time. So, um, and it does, the particles are in extremely fine suspension and it does take several days to settle out, so you will need to wait. So, I'll just wait and meet you back in about two days when this thing has actually separated fully and our solution looks a lot clearer on the top. Then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I had a slight difficulty. You see, last time I did this, <coughs> letting the mixture settle out worked perfectly fine. Uh, but you can see that after a couple days, it's still quite cloudy on top, although there is a bit of precipitant I can see at the bottom. Now, um, I realized the two differences that I did was last time when I used um, lab grade, it's going to be pure manganese dioxide, which means that there's not going to be any um, uh, iron or carbon, which are the main contaminants in the pottery grade stuff. So um, I realized that I most likely had a solution of um, iron chloride, and iron chloride and manganese chloride are extremely hard to separate. However, thankfully for us, iron oxide and iron particles are magnetic. So um, I redid the experiment, um, except at the very beginning when we took our manganese dioxide, I just quickly took a magnet and ran it through there to get rid of any iron particles that were present. Because the iron particles um, were attracted to the magnet, whereas the manganese dioxide particles were left. Um, so after that was done, and I made sure that all the iron was gone, I repeated the exact same steps I just showed you. Um, but I didn't want to restart the video, of course, um, so I just w left this here to uh, show you that, and I'll scrap it, because there's no viable way to separate the manganese chloride from the iron chloride, as far as I'm concerned. So you really do have to get the iron out at the beginning. So just simply run a magnet through your mixture of manganese dioxide. I use this uh, super strong neodymium magnet in a plastic bag, and you can see the um, manganese dioxide on the side, and you should do it in a bag so your magnet doesn't get um, pieces of iron stuck to it. Anyhow, so here is our final manganese 2 chloride, and um, if you look carefully, it does look pink. This is ideal um, because we made manganese 2 chloride for the chemical garden reaction due to its pink color because it is such a beautiful pink color. Um, it is a light pink, but, um, but because it is pink, that's how we know it is manganese 2 chloride. Um, I believe this is the anhydrous form, which is a very, very light pink. However, if we were to leave this exposed to air, it would turn a uh, more vivid pink color because it uh, hydrates in the air um, and forms another uh, hydrated form of manganese 2 chloride, except that, of course, it is a bit pinker. But this will still work. Um, anyhow, so that's basically how to make manganese 2 chloride. Just make sure to run a magnet through your manganese dioxide if it is pottery grade and not lab grade before you try this. Um, anyhow, so hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, wait, bye.